That's pretty good, Jamie. That's not bad. All right, so when we're looking at this, um, now again, guys, you can obviously apply distributive property. And I have no problem if that's where you want it. I am just going to tell you from my experience where students make the most mistakes is they do not have everything organized. Yes? Um, FOIL is not going to work. FOIL is going to work when we have our binomial times a binomial. I can go over that really quickly for you. But when you guys, I mean, basically all FOIL is, ladies and gentlemen, is a distributive property. You need to multiply this term times all three of those terms, and then this term times all three of those terms. And so basically you're doing the product, six, you're doing six products. And it becomes very difficult sometimes to organize everything so you have it. So the reason why I like the box method is because all you're simply doing is you're writing one expression on one side and another expression on the other side. And then for each of these expressions, you're just going to make its own little box. Yeah, it's own little section. Now, all you need to do is focus on what is the area of each box. So x squared times x cubed is x to the fifth. x squared times negative uh, 7x is a negative 7x cubed. x squared times 3 is going to be 3x squared. Negative 7x um, times x cubed is a negative 7x to the fourth. Negative 7x times negative 7x is a positive 49x squared. And no, it's x times x, right? It's x oh, I didn't write that up there. Crap. That's to the fourth. Yeah, well, well I wrote, miswrote the problem. My apologies. Um, so that would have been x cubed. OK. And then we have 3 times negative 7x, which would be a negative 21x. Now, what's important about this, what, the reason why I like this is because now you have every single product, every single monomial organized. However, you guys see that these two have the same terms, right? They both have x to the fourth. So I can combine them. So now I just write everything in descending order. x to the fifth. This becomes negative 14x to the fourth plus 49x cubed plus 3x squared minus 21x. You do not add exponents when you combine them. Yes. 